good evening, good evening, and a Thanksgiving coming. Let's count our blessings. Uh, well, we are still alive. Those of you that can hear me now are not dead from Corona. We uh, at least have had an election. The election now has divided America more than ever before. This election may actually be uh, the point in which historians like myself will say that this was the point which in essence was the end of the Republic. It might take a few more years, maybe a decade, maybe two, but the Republic as uh, you have known it is now uh, not only in danger, but we will be soon be talking about the Republic of the United States of America in a past tense. What's going to replace it? Well, I mean, oligarchs, U.S. style oligarchs, high tech industries, a defunct Democrat party, which is nothing like John Kennedy's party. It's become the party of deceit. The Republican Party? The Republican Party failed and did not drain the swamp because draining the swamp is not a possibility. It's been around too long. The swamp is what made America great. The swamp is what's going to keep America great, but not great in the sense of freedom or great in the sense of a constitutional republic. It's going to keep America great in the sense of the elite will get richer. They like the equestrian order. Of course, maybe they still are the inheritors of the equestrian order in Rome. They are the uncrowned nobility of America. And most of the Americans are either their dupes or their enemies. We have half of the American population that are their dupes, and we have the other half of the American population that are the enemies of these would-be nobles. They see it's their right to rule because they are rational, and you are not rational. Even the Democrats uh, who support them are not rational, but they have to be ruled by them one way or the other. Republicans can't possibly be rational because Republicans come from the backwoods of America, the uh, great unwashed, the ignorant, what did she call us, uh, the Clinton bitch? Well, the truth of the matter is, America used to have a middle class, a lower class, a upper middle class. Now there's only two classes, rulers and slaves. Oh, you don't know you're a slave yet, but you'll find out soon enough. They can make your voting machines vote any way they want. This is a good thing for the Republicans because they could do it next time or even the socialists, or even the communists. Your vote means nothing. The only thing that means something is your weapons, which will be taken away from you. Then what are you going to do? Are you going to fight them with bows and arrows? Bowie knives? 22 caliber rifles? Illegal arms? Or you're not going to fight them at all and say, hell with it. Millions worldwide are dead of a plague that was manufactured as and weaponized by America, the United States of America, Canada, and China in an effort to produce a weaponized virus. It got away. It was never used. It was never intended to be used. It was supposed to be a weapon of uh, doomsday. It got away. It got out. And basically it's going to kill the baby boomers, which will be a blessing to the rest of the people who really doesn't want us around anyway. They say, look, the baby boomers, I mean, 
What the hell? I have to work for them so they get Social Security? Shit. We, the baby boomers, worked for our parents and our grandparents so they would get Social Security. Did it ever occur to you that your children and grandchildren would rather see you die of corona than pay your Social Security so you can go to your death with a little bit of honor? It's an interesting, complicated situation. Let's say they get rid of the baby boomers. Then they get rid of living history, and then they can make lies about what everything was like back in the day. Well, <laughs> welcome to the new United States and the new world. All the things that we read about, uh, about 1984, about uh, the way the swamp was going to take over, all the science fiction stories. Hey, guess what? It's happening. And what are you going to do about it? You can't do anything about it because you no longer count. You no longer have a vote. You no longer have any way of establishing a democratic government. You can fight, but that's a civil war. You basically will end up killing people that you might need someday. So you're not going to fight if you're smart. So probably the best thing to do is let the Democrats have the government. Let the Democrats run everything into the dirt so that the people that voted for the Democrats will have buyer's remorse. And then, and only then, maybe somebody will come along, like Trump tried to do but didn't succeed because, let's face it, the guy talks like an asshole. If he would only kept his mouth shut and didn't do any tweeting, he probably would be able to even overcome the voter fraud by the sheer weight of uh, numbers because uh, he really is the best man for the job. But since he's not a politician, he said things that nobody should say, and it cost him the election. Thanksgiving. Well, all the things I mentioned are not to be thankful for. Uh, you might, some of you, be able to stay with your families or visit your families, and uh, as a result of it, a few more people, a few more baby boomers will die, but oh, who gives a shit? That's life, and that's where we're heading. And I'm very, very sorry for you, America, and I'm very, very thankful that I got the hell out when I did. So, God bless America, you need it. Have a happy Thanksgiving.